Okay guys, here it is. Uh, I kind of did this video a second ago on my um, phone, but of course somebody phoned and it shot down the video and whatever. So I'm on the camcorder now. Anyways, as you can see what I'm doing, it's going to take me way too goddamn long, but I'm moving over like, you know, pff, shit, about 300 gig worth of music onto my external drive, because I'm going to start from scratch with Tractor. I'm getting real sick of this goddamn uh, organization of Tractor. And it finally clues into me that there's one big problem with the tractor stuff. It's not really great at handling 30,000 goddamn songs. You know what I mean? That's just stupid. You wouldn't go up to a gig with 30,000 songs on record. You know what I mean? You'd have your shit sitting at home in storage. And you, know, you pull out your albums that you play all the time. You, you know what I mean. If you're a real DJ, you know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. So, here's the deal. Start from scratch, say, screw it all, and go right into iTunes. Tractor has iTunes integration for a reason, because iTunes is very good at sorting large quantities of music. That's what it was designed for. It was made by Apple. Think about it. So, when you're starting from complete scratch, you're going to go into iTunes. You go right up into the top corner. Let me zoom in here for a second. And you're just going to simply add files to library. And you can add files. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it would be to go back up to the corner there. Sorry. Go into the preferences. This is if you got a big collection. This is a. I'd much rather do this with the phone, to be honest. This doesn't work as well as I think and going to advanced and you can change the folder and you can point and say my iTunes media folder is going to be wherever your music folder is right another simple way of doing this shit is to honestly you can do it from finder, you can do it from explorer, do it from anything you want take your folder of music and literally drag this shit right over and what that's going to do is when you drag it over it's going to create a playlist it's going to pull your songs in right but it's going to actually duplicate the shit so you want to take that one there say this is from your your backup drive you know what I mean so take your backup shit move it over to here and now it's here this is your external drive see that's a goddamn external so, once you have that shit in there, from that point there, you can do a lot of things. You could, uh, you know, go in there, select them all by doing Control A. I forget what the shit is on the Mac. You can right click, get info. You can change the comments if you wanted to, for instance, and change the comments for everything. That's one of the bullshit things you can do. Um, so I can take that playlist now that's in there. I go in the tractor. When I'm looking down at my side here, zoom in, and I go into iTunes, and load. Got a bunch of shit in there, so it takes a moment. Plus my iTunes is busy copying and doing all kinds of crazy shit. And so, as you can see, we have, where is that goddamn thing? Sorry, looking through the viewfinder is bullshit. So I got my 2020 one right there, right? So I can take that, I can right click it, and then say import to collection. And then I'll right click and import to playlist. So now when I go up here, it's over the shaky cam guys, this is bullshit. And there's my 2020 sitting there. And I don't know if this shit's been analyzed yet or not. Oh no, it hasn't been analyzed because I've moving around on my stripes and shit. So, that's why that hasn't happened. But anyways, you get the idea. So, moral of the story is, yeah, keep all your shit. Your 30,000 songs, whatever. And you have that sitting, you know, we finally loaded it up here. <laughs> but, you have it all sitting in iTunes. iTunes is like your main... That's where all your shit is, right? And you go through, you use iTunes, and 
you go through, you make playlists. Say, I like this track, I like that track, I like that track, whatever. You, you organize the shit the way you want. It gives you an opportunity, song by song, to go in there and change the genre, subgenre, and organize your shit a little better. Put in whatever you want, you know what I mean? Like, organize the shit really, really well. Once it's organized all in iTunes, bring that shit over into Tractor, and Tractor will run that shit beautifully. Like, honest to God. And you don't need to keep adding, adding, adding the tractor. You know what I mean? You can put some shit in there and pull some shit out. Because once the stripe has been analyzed, you take that playlist out. You know what I mean? Like, you don't really have to keep just building, building, building. You just, it's like packing a crate of records. You know what I mean? And when you have it over here, think about this. You have a bunch of shit here. Think of this as your, your milk crates up at the top here. You know what I mean? So, you know, grab my crate of dubstep here. Sorry, where's that shit? Drag that over here. And dump it off. So now, there's my goddamn crate of all my dubstep. You know what I mean? You can write, people who don't know, you can right click and I think we're out of time here, guys. See the bit.